I love RSS feeds. Who has MailChimp, Active Campaign, or Constant Contact? Raise your hand. Outstanding. Raise your hand if you have a show and you're using those things. Outstanding. Are you running an RSS feed email campaign? Does anybody know what that is? These allow you to have your RSS feed created into a template and then sent out to your email list every single time an episode is uploaded. Every time you upload an episode, your RSS feed is triggered. So inside of these, you have an RSS feed email campaign. What happens is, is your email list will get an email that you've already templated it out, already set, like, like he had up there. This is the show, this is what we talked about. You can see it here, here, and here, and here. Then the RSS feed, like we don't see electricity running through wires, but inside of that RSS feed, you can't see the code that's running through the RSS feed. So what happens is that code inside of the RSS feed specific to your episode is getting uploaded to Apple iTunes and Google and all the other places. It's dropping the content inside of the email and then putting that email into your email subscribers. So if you're not running an RSS feed email campaign, a one-time setup where you then send it to your email address or your email list with everybody watching and downloading and like fail. I just blew everybody's mind. I was like, wait, what? Because I hate funnels. <laughs> Mark Crandall. I hate funnels. I love automation. I do too. If I can set it up one time and it just goes out, I'm done. I don't have to do anything else. I set it up one time, I can set it and forget it. And then I subscribe to my own email list. Has everybody subscribed to their own email list? I sure hope so. So I'll see it and I'm like, ooh, yeah, that looks good, got it. And so if something doesn't happen, I'm like, oh crap, gotta go fix it. So when that email comes out, because I do live show, so what's great is I do a live show on Blog Talk Radio, it's then live in like 15 minutes, but the RSS feed doesn't trigger until like 5.30, 6 o'clock, because I do it at like 11 or 12. Once I get a Google Play, because I subscribe to my own show, once I get a Google Play notification, then I know that I'm gonna get an email in about five minutes and ding, there's my email and I'm like, cool, got it. So once my RSS feed goes to Apple iTunes, Google Play, TuneIn, everything else, then the email comes and it's automatic. 